Hi, this is my custom electronic chessboard. It's a wooden board that I bought on Amazon and I modified it to add my own electronics. The pieces are just plastic pieces, three inch king um, that I modified to add some weight and also add magnets. And then this is the computer that goes with it. Um, the computer is in charge of all the logic and also Wi-Fi communication to Lee Chess using the Lee Chess API. So there's one cable here that goes to the board so I can control the LEDs and read the magnetic sensors. And one cable goes to um, just USB power. I can start games in a couple of different ways. The first one is using this screen here. I can send the game seek to Lee Chess using different time formats, or I can play against the computer at level one just to demonstrate. So it sends the game seek to Lee Chess, receives confirmation, says I'm playing white, otherwise I would have had to rotate the board. The screen also shows um, status of the game and the timers. In this case, I'm playing unlimited, so there's no time to be shown. So I can make my move. The LEDs show what the move is going to be, and I can confirm this move by tapping anywhere on the screen. Opponent plays their move, I receive the move, and the LEDs show what the move is. So I can just play this move myself and then move on with my own move. Confirm by tapping, wait for the opponent. LEDs show me what the move is, play this move and continue. If I try to play an illegal move and send that to the server, it's going to ask me to uh, undo that. The screen shows me where the pieces should be and the LEDs show me which squares are uh, in the wrong state. So that makes it very easy to put the, ba the, the board in the correct state. If I tap on the screen without making any moves, then I have the options um, to resign, offer a draw, claim victory if my opponent is gone, or I can go back to the game. In this case, I'll just resign and then it shows me um, how the game ended, who the players were, and how the ratings changed. Of course, computer does not have a rating in this case, and this was a casual game, so uh, my rating did not change. I can also start games from the Leechess website or the Leechess app. Here I'm starting a, a challenge on the website to a different account, and you can see the computer is always listening for new games coming in, so it detects the game, tell, tells me I'm playing white, and then I can play this game on the board. So if I make my move here, and then I have the opponent make their own move. This move appears on my board and we can play the game. You can see the timer going um, now for this game. And if I offer a draw and have my opponent accept it, uh, you can see how our ratings are now updated uh, after the game is done. And finally, I can use this board to play over the board with somebody else. So if I go in the over the board menu, we can select the time settings we want and hit start. This now creates a game on Lee Chess between two separate accounts, but the moves for both accounts um, come from the board. So as I play my move and confirm, my opponent plays their moves and, and confirm, all these moves are, are sent to the Lee Chess server. And then once the game ends, in this case in a checkmate, um, the screen here shows a QR code that links to the game recorded on Lee Chess. So we can both scan it with our phones uh, and look at the moves and analyze the game um, together. As I said, the board itself is just some board that I bought on Amazon that I modified to add um, these LEDs here in between the squares. And if I flip it over, you can see these four, four screws on the corner. And if I remove them, you can see what's happening under the hood here. Let's put it this way. All the electronics here are really just the LEDs and the mag magnetic sensors. So if I zoom in on a square, um, you can see here the four LEDs at the corners. And then at the center is a magnetic sensor with a transistor. Everything is wired in a grid and I'm using some multiplexing logic to uh, address individual LEDs and to read the magnetic sensors. These bars here uh, are really just simple logic gates and everything connects through uh, this HDMI connector to my little com computer with the display. Uh, I needed, I think, 18 pins for my design and HDMI happens to have 19, so it was a convenient connector for me to use. And then the little computer itself with the display is uh, just a 3D printed case with a power switch and a uh, button I use for debug to the side here. And then at the back is the HDMI connector to the board and USB power to power the computer. The computer was designed in Fusion 360. You can see the display, the two buttons on the side here, and then the connectors at the back. Um, and I have four screws to remove at the bottom to access the uh, interior components. And if I remove the top and bottom cover, 
you can see the inside and the microcontroller is hiding somewhere in here. This is a ESP32 with a dev board that has uh, integrated Wi-Fi capabilities that made everything uh, very simple. So that's it. Thanks.